Another form of abnormal ventilation perfusion relationship can be seen as a result of alveolar units with ventilation but no persistent perfusion. Conceptually, any alveolar units with VQ greater than 1 but not infinity can be described as if the units were functionally equivalent to areas of dead space. Areas of high VQ or physiologic dead space represent regions of wasted ventilation as far as carbon dioxide elimination is concerned. However, in most disorders characterized by an increase in lung areas with high VQ, hypercapnia does not occur. These individuals can compensate for the increase in dead space by increasing the overall level of ventilation to keep PaCO2 constant. So, an elevation in arterial carbon dioxide tension would only be seen when the patient can't sustain the overall level of ventilation necessary to compensate. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.